Hi guys and welcome back to the second episode of our Bush Kitchen series. Today we're going to be bringing a recipe to you that we've made many times before and it's a favourite of ours at home and actually quite a classic recipe in the UK. We're going to be making a cottage pie. So first step you need to get your fire going. So here are all the ingredients we're going to be using to make our cottage pie and I'm going to chop a few cloves of garlic and our onion. What's going on here then? Just gonna make a nice cottage pie for dinner. Oh, mm. sounds good. Yeah. So, <laughs> can you peel these for me? Mm. Thanks. For those of you that don't know what a cottage pie is, it's very similar to a shepherd's pie, but the difference is that it's with beef mince rather than lamb mince. Beef mince with, we're gonna put stock, tomato paste, we're gonna put carrot in there, onion, garlic, some nice seasonings you can put peas in there celery anything really that you want to and then it has a mashed potato on top and then we like to put some cheese on there and get the cheese all crispy and melted and that is basically what a shepherd's pie and cottage pie is once your potatoes are peeled you're gonna cube them put them in a saucepan because we'll be boiling them up later on I'm going to be placing the poiki onto this tripod so that it's slightly elevated above the coals and I'm just going to start moving a couple of coals over here to create some heat so that I can start cooking. And in with the onions. Garlic and the carrots. Wait, they need water, don't they? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add in my beef stock now. Give it a good old stir. Smoked potatoes. <laughs> yeah. A tip from Harry, everybody. If you feel like it's reducing too much, then uh, if it's reducing down too much, then put the lid on and it will hold in some of that moisture. Key ingredient. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> Okay, the potatoes are nice and soft, eventually. So I'm gonna drain the water and then mash them. Obviously a nice big knob of butter. Never hurt anyone. Something we do actually need is a masher, mm. don't we? Once your mash is mashed to the best of your ability, it's time to start constructing the pie. I've got a good feeling about this one Chloe. Me too. So I think we've nailed the consistency and also the amount of mash before we've had the meat base too liquidy and then we haven't made enough potato. Now it's time to add the cheese, so I've got some cheddar and some parmesan, so I'm just going to add a mix of both on there. So I've scraped most of the coals away here, because the bottom of that, that poiki is so hot. So we're going to put the lid on and then ramp that up with heat to try and get it to cook from the top down now and crisp up that mash like we had the time before. I think we'll give that 20 minutes and hope for the best. Oh. 
looks good, eh? They're done. It's not quite crispy. So we've just checked it, it was about 20 minutes and it's looking really good. It's not totally crispy on top yet, so we're gonna give it 10 more minutes. Harry's just putting a load of coals on there. So hopefully it will heat up and crisp up. Hopefully it'll be done in 10 minutes. We'll check back in with you. So it's been another 10 minutes and Harry's brushed off all the coals off the top of the poiki and now we're gonna check it and I can smell it, can you? It smells amazing. Really good. Hey! Oh! Oh, yeah, that's hot. Oh, that looks so good. I wanna eat it. It looks good. It looks really good. that perfect and if you look at the bottom of the poiki it's clean wow. recently we've been really enjoying just getting dinner and getting in the back of the car and sticking a film on yeah it gets dark because it's winter here it gets dark yeah. at like 6 6 30 we just get cozy on our sofa mm and have dinner and watch a movie. And it's nice when you bry to stand outside just with a fire, but yeah. it's not often that we bry when it's just the two of us, no. so. Okay, Anyway, on to more important things. Yeah. It's gonna be hot. Mm. Good. You know what will make this better? The parent. Yes. How did you know? Add a bit of this on top. Mmm. Hot. Mmm. Works really perfectly. Really good. Though. Really, really good. So we're going to finish off our dinner. And if you guys have any recipes or recommendations of things that you want us to try cooking um, in the next upcoming Bush Kitchen episodes then make sure you comment and let us know. Thanks for watching guys. Good night. <laughs>